Yo, what up, my Shadow Army? So, it's I, Shadow Critics, back again with another Ruby review video. So, yesterday I'll be reviewing the second volume of Ruby. And, like I said before to my last review, I will not go into spoilers. I might mention something that I actually liked. Um, so, yeah, like I said before to Volume 1, rewatching these volumes again is just, you know, reliving these characters is just heartwarming and this volume is where a lot of people started shipping the characters yeah that's why people saying volume 2 was their least favorite until volume 4 which i will get into that when i do my reviews on that by this recording i'll probably watch it right about now i guess but volume 2 was good but the one thing made it be if you guys watch my rank um which top of the rank that I put each Ruby review that is actually is the bottom it's because of ship thing in general but there's some good moments I actually did like and I'm not saying the second volume is bad I'm just saying it's good and it's okay like I said before I love all the volumes of Ruby I just don't see any bad volumes at all they, they, some of them have their own flaw. There's some of them I didn't like. There's some of them I actually did like. But sometimes I just enjoy and love the series as a whole. And basically this volume is about pretty much Blake is being, you know, being distressed over about, you know, Roman torture and the White Fang. And of course, one of my favorite moments in all time is the... The food fight, that's like pretty much the first premiere of the first episode of, C of Volume 2, which is the food fight. It, it was hilarious. And of course, um, and also this is where we got to get to see Swy, uh, the dog. And it's just, I literally don't have anything to say to talk about Volume 2 as a whole. It's just, this Volume 2 actually starts all the shipping of the people shipping the characters as a whole and there's some good things I actually like some things were kind of boring honestly and in volume 2 we we actually get to see um Monty Ullman doing the the dancing for the team Jennifer yes for those people who don't know Monty Ullman is also a dancer as well he's really good at it if you go back, there, if you could find a video footage, someone actually record Matiom actually dance at one of convention or one of that Ruby convention or Rusty convention, whatever. And it is also still a nostalgia that you see some moments that evolve. Monty does what he does and voicing uh, Ren, and. It's still nostalgia and yet sad that Monty is not around. And after Volume Two, I feel like um, is where Monty actually passed away when they finished Volume Three. And I think by this recording, I might be wrong that Monty did voice Light Ran in Volume Three before he passed away, or someone else actually voiced of Light Ran right before right after uh Matyon passed away when before volume 3 was created because um I will get into volume 3 review separately because there's something I want to talk about volume 3 etc so I mean it's actually is good and also one of my fav my second favorite moment is where uh Weiss, Blake and Yang are discussing about um, the question that their teacher asked them about why they want to become a huntress, and they gave the reason why, but apparently the question is stuck in their head, and then that they they're questioning about why they chose to be a huntress, and there's one thing that Weiss actually mentioned that about is is their job now to be the huntress and they we she's saying that we signed up for being a huntress in the first place that's almost sound like uh my hair academia because if you think about it all the characters from my hair academia actually signed up to be a pro hero and they want to do what they believe is right and risk their own life that's how and that's pretty much what team ruby and team jennifer 
or at orange or um um alpha i think I, wait uh, i forget the other team name that people call it um damn it so so pretty much yeah they sign up to be a hunters but they know the the risk they're really to take is similar thing to my hero academia they sign up to be a pro hero and they could know the risk they need to take to be as a pro hero in a such a young age just like team ruby and the others and again it's just still nostalgia to see the old animation and watch like whenever i watch volume 8 and think about one thing which is the animation and how how far the animation had came like if you watch volume 1 you can tell how far the animation has gone to become good as a whole you know what i mean but honestly i have nothing to say to volume 2 because like i said i do not want to spoil anything the whole episode there's something i really mentioned about something i actually liked and some of the um this volume is actually focusing on about pretty much blake's story honestly because she wants to redeem and fix things and you know take out the white fang that's pretty much what the story is about for volume two as a whole but anyway guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video like and share subscribe links to my social media my discord server my gofundme page will all be down below scratch while you guys know but all that shenanigans again like and share subscribe and i'll see you guys later kneel before shout out critias i'll see you guys later